See, last uh, lecture I was discussing about the joint letters and formation of letters, right? Now, what is formation of letters? Letter means combination of vowel and consonant. That is called letter. If you say only K, K, that is not letter. That is consonant. If you say A in English, this is not letter. This is vowel. So, vowel and consonants are sound, but then later I, I said that K and A, you will join together, K and A, and in Sanskrit you will prepare a letter that is Ka, so Ka, then vowel, A vowel will be joined, Ka, Ki, Ki, Ku, Ku, these all are letters where vowels are joined, right. So, that we will study, I mean we have already studied this thing. Uh, in last class, I already told you to prepare uh, letters using all the vowels and consonants, right? So, uh, I would like to show you that what I actually gave you in homework in last class, in last lecture. Okay, I am sharing my screen and then we will discuss uh, for the word formation in Sanskrit, how word is formed in Sanskrit language. So, let me show you this last class. PDF file that I sent you, okay, yeah, please, uh, can anyone uh, uh, reply that uh, screen is visible to you, students, please, great, great, thank you so much. Students, this was the thing that I taught in last, in last class, see, you can see, this is called a joint letter, sure, here, this is gna. This is tra. So these are joint letters where two consonants are used, right? Well, like ka and sha, sha, jo and nyo, gna, it is called gna. Ta plus ra is called tra. So this I was teaching you last time. And I told you when you read it, you must know, right? You must be having knowledge how to read these all uh, mixed letters, joint letters, right? That I told you to do this in, in the last week. Now we'll move forward. So many, see how many examples I gave you uh, of joint letters up to I think 26 joint letters example I gave. Here you can check the last. This one is the 26th one. Cha plus ra, chira. Right? Uh, so these many examples I gave you uh, to read these all letters and to learn all these letters. And now you can see here what is written. Read. Forming letters using all vowels. This is called forming letters. See, this ka is letter. Ka is letter. Ki is letter. Where ka consonant sound and a vowel sound both joined. Ka length. This is half ka. See, can you see the sign here? One cross line is here. That is called half. That is called half. Half means what? A, a consonant without vowel. This is called pure consonant. When you join a vowel, it will be a full letter, ka. Now in ka half, when you join a, it will be ka. Right? And in between, I have given you the sign also. This sign. See, all uh, sign of matra I have given. This is called matra. A, matra like this. Then raswa e, that is called sort e. And matra is like this. Here you can see the matra of long e, dirga e. Okay? So, similarly that I explained you in last class, uh, now what I wanted to say that like this you can see ka plus u ku, ka plus long u ku, ka plus ru kru, ka plus ru long ru that is kru, then ka plus lru kru, ka plus a you can see k and then last few vowels here you can check in this table. Ka plus O, Ko, Ka plus I, Kai, Ka plus Au, Kau, Ka plus Am, Kam, and Ka half plus Aha, Kaha. So these are the letter formation, letter formation by using vowels. 
Now what homework I gave you? I, I, I gave you the homework to prepare this kind of letters. Ka, ka, ki, ki, ku, ku. Of all consonants using all these vowels. Right. This is what you need to do. Those who have not done, those who are learning this language very first time, this is must. This is very much compulsory to do. Right. If you will walk, if you will write uh, with all the consonants. Right. After ka, there is ka, ka letter. So you will write like ka plus o is equal to ka. Ka plus a is equal to ka. Then ka plus e is equal to ki. Like this. All the vowels you will use with each and every consonant. Right from ka to last 33rd consonant. Ka. Okay. So it will be like this that you need to do once uh, you must write it this is uh, this was your homework now today you can see here this is a new slide this is a new uh, page or, or a whiteboard where today you are going to study this thing now clearly you can re as read here what is this sanskrit words nouns formation right words or nouns formation in the previous class we were learning letter formation and with letter formation you could see this kind of mixed letters also were there see here i am showing you mixed letter this page you can check this kind of mixed letter is there double y y y one half y and second full y yo 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 use a vowel before this and you will pronounce like like a yo right next one is yo and wa so it will be like I wa. Just put a before this all cons uh, mixed consonants joint letters. So you will get help to pronounce this mixed letter properly. And actually one should not use this a vowel before this all mixed letters. While you join this mixed letter. While you pronounce this mixed letter. You should not use a. But in the starting Right, in initial stage, you can take the help of A to pronounce. So, it will be easy for you. That I told you twice maybe uh, earlier. So, this one, third one is, you can see LKA is written. Means, ALKA. Right, then LPA is ALPA. You put A just before this. ALPA. Right, then ALMA. Then ALYA. Like this, mixed letters are there. So many mixed letters are there. And uh, for this, I already gave you this kind of mixed letter in uh, last class. Here in this uh, slide you can check. Uh, this I gave you. See. Here. These all are mixed letters. Sra. Number 6 you can see. Sa plus ra. Sra. Da plus va. Da. Da plus dha. Dha. Ha plus ya. Ya. Now uh, let's do one, one time pronunciation. I will speak. And you people will follow me. You don't need to switch on your mic. Just for the pronunciation purpose. Just for a while. We'll do the pronunciation once. And then we'll uh, go to learn. We'll start learning the word formation. The new slide I will show you. Right. So get ready and follow me. Follow my uh, uh, voice. And accordingly you speak. Okay. Students I am using A. Before all these mixed letters. So you also will use A. But in general, we shouldn't use this, right? Just for you, for uh, making the things easier for you, I'm using a vowel as a helping vowel, all right? So now follow me. Aksha, speak. Agna. Atra. Adya. Number five. Pascha. Number six, you can see on the screen. Asra. Adva. Adha. Number eight. Number nine. Ahiya. Number ten, you can check. Kta. K-T-A. That can be written in uh, two way. Somewhere you will see kta like this. Somewhere in some text, some books, you will see ta like this. Okay, so please read it properly. Check it properly. It can be anyway. Akta. Number 11. Akwa. Number uh, 12. Ohiya. 
those who are checking this english pronunciation don't see this pay attention here in sanskrit so you will get a very fast you know uh, the way how to pronounce very quickly you will learn so 12th was a here then we have number 13 apra okay number 14 ahru ru ahru then number 15 add okay number 16 you can see atha double tha right two tha given there then we have number 17 double na right anna anna okay then we have number 18 two t you can see atta number 19 atra see how it's written tra okay atra t r a tra atra then number 20 ashta number 21 half ha means ha consonant and ma right ahma ahma next we have kra k and r a kra now students please check how to write kra normally you will write ka consonant and then you will make a little cross line at the end of this ka letter so kra okay let me uh, increase the size of the page maybe you we'll you check that how ka is written see now is it visible clearly in ka you can check this cross line is there see this cross line you can see my uh, the pointer this cross line so like this kra can be written next we have kra so speak akra then number 24 agra 25 agra 26 achra okay so like this all uh, so many mixed letters are there but you know some of the mixed letter joint letters when you will study slowly slowly uh, you will get rhythm to pronounce the letters by you will get the rhythm to read the letter okay and that is must see here uh, you will study you will take this sanskrit online sanskrit course it's the best thing but if you will not practicing if you will not work harder by yourself there whatever the homework is given by me you have will have to follow right and i know we people are very mature people you are studying with your full of dedication so you do whatever i am giving and that one week time i have i have kept so in this coming one week you whatever the homework i give whatever the class work i give that accordingly you do it then you will get that experience and without uh, being in touch with sanskrit language just by studying language you can't you will never study sanskrit language you will have to be in touch with this language right continuously those uh, people who are learning sanskrit language for years let me tell you for years who, who are learning right as myself i have been connected with sanskrit language from last 21 years i started learning this language on in 1999 right so those who are connected with this language for years and years and if he or she will be you know leaving this language for 6 months or 1 year then the things will be lost for sure so you will have to be connected with this now what is the other thing when you are learning a language you will learn one topic second topic third topic very important uh, matter i am telling you pay attention you are learning uh, vowels consonants sandhi samas all these things you are learning but learning the rules are not in, in, enough just learning the rule of any language is not enough you will have to be connected with the language by you know having a book 
of this language sanskrit book you are having some any book like uh, bhagavad gita you have or any sanskrit text you have then what will happen you will try to read the things you will try to write the things so you will be connected with the language without being connected with the language just learning the rules that will not work understood right it is very much understood so that's that is what my advice to you all initially it's okay two three classes happen so many things that we are going to study it's just nothing it's just the starting but uh, for upcoming days you must be having a kind of a book that you are reading right every day whatever you are studying in my previous class that you are applying this knowledge you are applying right by reading by writing by uh, using all the rules whatever you study in this uh, sanskrit grammar course that you will have to apply this in the book right uh, after few days you will start learning sandhi sandhi means disjoining the words so you here you will learn the sandhi from me i will give you some examples but after learning the sandhi rule after learning all the example if you will not apply this in the book if you will not see in the book you will not examine yourself in the book then after 6 months 1 year things will be lost so you will have to be connected so you must be having a sanskrit book initially it's okay for this uh, few classes but in upcoming uh, future please uh, be connected with any sanskrit book i am not telling particular book but any sanskrit you, uh, book you must be having all right fine so this was something that we uh, did in last class regarding letter formation like ka ka ki ki like this kha kha ki ki third letter is ga g ga ga gi gi gu gu like this then gha then cha this kind of letter is there then mixed letter also we saw dio ksha mixed letters are there now today we will understand word formation where we will check how vowels consonants uh, and mixed letters are there in the word and through this you will be able to read sanskrit word and you will be able to write this sanskrit word okay let us see right after this we will study uh, noun forms right slowly slowly i mean i am uh, teaching you in in such a way that you will understand the first uh, part vowels consonant slowly slowly you will be able to make a letter then a word then noun forms then sentence like this right so here i am presenting one page where you can see how word is formed by using vowels consonants and uh, joint letters pay attention students now here you can check the title is given sanskrit words nouns formation as i was saying here apple one example is taken here that apple uh, we know in apple there are five uh, different alphabets a p p l E. So, how many vowels are there? Two vowels are there that I have made in red. See, I prepared it for you people. A and E both are the vowels. Three consonants are given. P, P, and L. Right. So, I have written it two vowels. A and E, and three consonants are there. So, for uh, forming any word, any noun in Sanskrit language, you must be using vowels and consonants together. Right. Without the help of vowel. consonant cannot be pronounced one consonant can be pronounced two consonants can be pronounced if together but if you will take five six seven consonants together without help of vowel it cannot be completed it cannot be pronounced all right so here we will study the very first example you can check slowly slowly here also psychologically i have prepared an order of these words who are studying this language the very first time will not get will, uh, will not feel that difficulty those who already know about this language alphabets letters consonants vowels it will be extremely easy for them but i will being a teacher i will have to keep in mind all my students who are very much fresh right so let's start learning from this khaga you can see two letters word khaga okay now here you can check how this uh, word is disjoined khaga word is dis disjoined with consonants and vowels and you can check first letter is kha then kha half without any vowel this is pure consonant and this one is a vowel 
kh and a together it becomes kh okay so uh, i request to those students who are learning this uh, now very first time please speak as i say right kh g you can check kh plus or kh g plus or g so and i made all the vowels in red color see red let uh, red colors letter i made all the vowels so you can understand so kh g second one you can check here j g t okay so here three letters word where you will see a at the end of every letter j plus a j g plus a g t plus a t j g t right this one is the three letter word in sanskrit where we have disjoint with vowels and consonants j g t after this you can check two letter word where i used a in the initial letter ra ra ma so it's like ra plus a right ra consonant and a vowel become ra and ma plus a become ma so ra ma here next you can check sita so plus e long e students so it would be pronounced as c right c it's not like you will have to take that much of time for uh, i mean compulsory but in general uh, in general pronunciation you will you will pronounce like sita right not sita sita it's wrong sita okay then this one is ta plus a ta two letter word where you can see first letter is ending with long e and second one is second letter is with a here you can check suta where i used u okay so plus long uh, i'm sorry it's not long u it's short u yeah so plus u suta right su one letter and second word is ta plus a students uh, initially you will find uh, easy right but slowly slowly you will check how the word is formed see tough words will be coming slowly slowly the difficulty level will be increased in beginning it's easy but slowly slowly the difficulty level will be increased i uh, request to all oh, those students who just started uh, reading this uh, vowels consonant and words pay attention properly and learn now number next uh, word you can check ganesha now in ganesha you can see first letter is ga half and a that is ga next letter is n a where n a plus a is n a gane and next third letter is sha right sha consonant plus a ganesha ganesha please pronounce ganesha okay next we have example of i here you can check this word mai na ka read mai na ka ai is there mai ha <clears throat> here you can check sign two matras are given see in mai now how this is written separately when you disjoin consonant and vowels how it would be written see ma letter and consonant ma consonant and ai this vowel ai here you can see only one matra is there but here too so this is basically i only with two matra this is vowel with two matras with consonant when it will be joined when this vowel will be joined with this ma consonant or any consonant this will be written as two matra upon upon the letter see so here mai and then next one is na na plus a na one consonant na consonant and a here you can check ka plus a ka mai na ka read mai na ka next we have te neva first letter is ta consonant plus a ta consonant plus a becomes te ta and a te then next one you can check a is there just like the previous mai just like this mai here it is nai so na plus a is equal to nai te nai and wa consonant and a becomes wa letter te nai wa students repeat te nai wa 
ओके नेक्स्ट वी हैव मनोहर मनोहर फोर लेटर वर्ड म प्लस अ इज इक्वल टू म देन नो न प्लस ओ इज इक्वल टू नो देन ह प्लस अ इज इक्वल टू ह एंड र प्लस अ इज इक्वल टू र सो फोर लेटर वर्ड्स मनोहर प्लीज रिपीट मनोहर ओके दिस इज कॉल्ड मनोहर सी मीनिंग ऑफ द वर्ड्स वी विल सी सो मेनी वर्ड वी विल चेक इन फ्यूचर एंड सो मेनी अदर स्टफ दैट वी नीड टू डू वी विल डू इन फ्यूचर बट इट इज दस द वर्ड फॉर्मेशन एंड रीडिंग प्रैक्टिस आल्सो टुगेदर राइट नेक्स्ट वर्ड यू कैन चेक हियर गौरव सी गौरव फर्स्ट लेटर ग कॉन्सोनेंट जी एंड ओ so it will be go read go then ra consonant plus a ra go ra and then wa consonant plus a wa go ra wa okay please repeat go ra wa fine next we have krishna students this is interesting let me tell you something about this whole world who doesn't know how to pronounce krishna krishna they in english some people are writing those who don't know are writing krishna like this and they pronounce like krishna absolutely wrong krishna is wrong in sanskrit when you write a word for lord krishna it would be like this pay attention it would be like this krishna what krishna now you can check ka consonant and ru vowel ka half and ru kuru this is ru vowel that is joined with ka consonant right so ka and ru becomes kru it's kru not kri so this one is wrong right kri should not be then you can check here sha this is cerebral sha you can check here half sha is there and then hana hana this is nasal sound however it is written now but it should be hana right pronunciation should be hana so the word is krishna let me tell you dear listen to me ru this vowel you can see here in this word see here in this word you can see this vowel right ru this is vowel ru vowel now the pronunciation of this vowel is ru now when you see this vowel in a word in the starting like rishi but this is actually ru vowel so you there also you should say ru si ga ru is there but the problem is that people started speaking ru vowel as ri so whether whether this ru coming in the starting of the word like rushi only sage in english it is called saint or sage right s a g e so rushi is written but people already pronounce as rishi it's not rishi rishi kapoor it's not rishi it's ru ru vowel is there so don't make don't pronounce as ri many people pronounce as ri but that is wrong ru vowel is there ru not ri and the same ru vowel you can see in krishna also here i gave you the example krishna so here also ru k plus ru kru is there krishna okay so this is what uh, the thing that people generally do and uh, my dear students why they speak ri that also i am telling you i am not telling it's your fault those who don't know how to pronounce years by years city by city country by country there is a change in terms of pronunciation see for example many languages of the world let me tell you this is reality many languages of the world they have accepted many sanskrit words in their languages in your own languages you will find many words that are mostly same as the words of sanskrit language now let me give you one example in sanskrit we have a word pitru 
pitru means father right now there is a pitru word in some other language in english language father so you you check the sound pitaru 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 patara so father sound similar little right not absolutely i mean a, a different one sound similar pitaru pitru father in some languages there is a word peter we heard peterson peter is actually in base there is pitru in some languages one of the language there is a word peter peter not peter peter that for father in some language there is a word patter so peter peter patter father right all these words languages words for father they have derived from pitru so what i want to say here that pitru word also changed right years by years country by country people can't pronounce this pitru properly so they pronounce as pitri 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 krishna rishi right not rushi so but we should speak as this this is the pure pronunciation of ru so krishna all right everyone next let us see here the words will be difficult uh, right initially it was easy but now the level will be more difficult students please pay attention here this one you can check one example of anuswara now students what is this anuswara here you can see this word anuswara pay attention anuswara is the dot that is used on the letter right and that you should pronounce as am ma sometime na just keep in mind my dear students the pronunciation of dot on the letter can be any one of two either m ma half or na any two can be possible sometime it pronounce as am sometime it's pronounce as an am or an two ma and na these two sounds are there initially you keep in mind like this see let's let's uh, see this example can uh, you tell me now that in this word ambara what is the pronunciation of this dot that i made it in blue color see in 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 uh, this uh, you can check this dot is pronounced with which sound dear ma read this word am ba ra all of you speak am ba ra so you can find this dot is pronounced as ma now another example i will write here and you will see how that dot that anuswara is pronounced with n sound n for no no sound right let's see yeah can anyone pronounce it for me students those who know how to pronounce this letter okay great see uh, i will use english uh, letters i know mandir means we know this mandir means temple but i will write as you know uh, what is written here in sanskrit see it, it is mandira now can you see what is the sound of this anuswara n can you check this in black letter n and what was here ma so sometime this dot is pronounced as ma m sometime this dot is pronounced as n na okay when you see this ambara word let me write in english uh, letter so you will uh, see uh, more clearly am ba ra this is 
Ambara. See this this word. This word I have written here. Ambara. So here you can check the pronunciation of dot is M. And that same dot you can see on this ma. This is pronounced as N. Right. Now you understood that the pronunciation of this dot can be any one of these two sound either ma either ma or na but in future i will tell you there are more pronunciation just right now you keep in mind two ma and na there are three more that i will tell you right now it's easy for you to understand to pronounce initially right when i will teach you the rule of this anuswar sandhi there is sandhi of this anuswar that dot also that also we will study right but first i want you i want all of you people to be equal in in you know in in terms of basic knowledge those who just started studying sanskrit language those who are having trouble to read so i am worried about these people those people who just started I already got a group who already know vowels, consonants, everything, letters, reading, everything. Then my my uh, topics would be you know even more further, more more tough. But I will have to check. That's why I repeatedly say that I will uh, paying attend. I will be I will be paying more attention for those students who just started learning this language, vowels, consonants, reading the letters, joining letters. So slowly, slowly, when the classes will be you know. Uh, gradually it will be going up more classes will come then you will see more grammar topics are coming more and more uh, new things will be coming in sanskrit language right initially it is like this okay so students ma and na two sounds are there of the pronunciation of anuswara now here you can check uh, next word is marma students very important thing for those students who are struggling in terms of pronouncing this ref this you can see in this word this marma i am just increasing the size of this uh, word pay attention yeah please student uh, can anyone read this word for me what is written here marma is there now can you check this ma ma and this sign is there given on this second letter ma what is this sign this sign i made it in green color so this is the sign of yeah this is the sign of ra half ra right this is the sign of what this is the sign of r here see see i wrote in uh, inverted comma on the screen you can clearly check this is the sign of r okay let me write it in green okay so this is the sign of r now how to pronounce it when you check this uh, refa that is called refa in sanskrit that is called uh, that is uh, ra half ra how to pronounce it when to pronounce it before what after what that we will understand and this is going to be uh, one and the only way that you will learn and you will use it in future right now marma is there first letter is ma absolutely okay ma and a uh, ma right that you understood second letter again you can check ma and a uh, ma fine but you can see this uh, refer means this uh, uh, ra okay now when how we, we will uh, learn this how we will uh, pronounce it pay attention yeah 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 please uh which which matra dear ra refa yeah yeah that that is what yeah that is what i'm explaining that when you see this matra this green uh, color matra you see of ra when to pronounce that you need to pronounce just before the letter where it is see just before the letter where it is it is on ma right it is on ma so you will pronounce this refa this green color sign you can see that is ra that you will see uh, that you will pronounce just before this ma so this refer will be here like this see now i am deleting this uh, refer and i am putting it in between 
double ma. Say like this. Ma, full, ra, half, and ma. Just before this letter. Okay. So suppose if I will give you another example. Suppose uh, we are having this word. See, check. What is written pass? Can you tell me pass? What is this? Karma. Absolutely okay. Karma. See, you spoke this ma, uh, rapper before ma. Now, if I will give you one more example of this, then you can check here. What is this? Karta. Karta. No, you students. Yeah, you are right. You shouldn't say a. Oh. You shouldn't pronounce a oh with r. Right. Only half r. R. Karta. Okay. Like this is marma. In English also, let me type here so it would be more clear to all the students. M a r m a. Marma. So in short, whatever the sign you see here on the letter, that r pronounce. Should be pronounced before the particular letter on which that uh, refer is given. So this marma, let me write again as it is. Marma, let me put in green. Okay, marma. So I hope you people have understood how to pronounce this refer just before that letter on which this refer sign is given. Okay, karma, karta. One more, I just would like to. Okay, uh, it's already there in the next example. Here, dear students, you can check here another word, karyam. So here, the first letter is ka plus a, ka. That's fine. Then again, you can see this ra. That is called refa, afra. That is on ya. So you should pronounce this refa before this ya, kar ya, kar. Yo, and then half ma is also there. M, mm, am, um, am. Um, so kar yam. Okay, ka plus a ka. Then ra half and yo plus a yo. Eh, so that's a yo and ma halan. That is ma half. So kar yam. Okay, all of you pronounce kar yam. Kar yam. Okay, great. Okay, thank you. Now next we have. Next we have a word. This now mixed letter starts here. From this example, mixed letters example starts. Pay attention on. First letter is, is ksha. Second letter is ma. Ksha. How ksha is made? Ka half plus sha plus a. Two consonants. Ka and sha. And one vowel a. Ka sha a is equal to ksha. And next letter is ma. That is ma plus a ma. Alright. So ksha ma. Okay. Next we have. A big letter, a big word is there. This is Vignanam. Students pronounce Vignanam. Vignanam. Now, how V is written? Va plus E is equal to V. Then Gna. Gna is Cha plus Nya plus A is equal to Gna. And Nam. Na plus O is equal to Na. And last consonants you can see half Ma is there. It should be pronounced as um, ma, half ma, right? Um, um, like vigya, vignanam, okay? Vignanam. Here also there are uh, uh, different opinion in terms of uh, this gna letter, right? Some parts of uh, uh, India, in some parts of India, some people pronounce this gna as gya, gya. Right. I shouldn't say that they are wrong. But whatever I studied from my Sanskrit guru, my Sanskrit teacher, who already studied this Sanskrit from their gurus, who are coming from the uh, different different parts of India, you know, the, we can say, the center of Sanskrit, very, in very depth, where the uh, Sanskrit is being taught throughout in Sanskrit media. This much higher level uh, teachers who are there. My gurus are studying from them and I studied from them and now I am teaching to you, to my students, to you. Now, as per their pronunciation, it is Gna. Right. So, this one should be Gna. Now, some people are pronouncing as Gya. 
then I can't accept this. Right? As per this, Jha and Ya, Jya, but that's absolutely wrong. We students pronounce as Jya. No, it's wrong. Gna. Right? And here you can check in this uh, example, Gna is there. Gna. Vignanam. But if you people pronounce as Gya, that will be fine because uh, for years you started speaking this Gya, your tongue will not, you know, be changed in it Im immediately. But it's fine. So I, uh, you should know this. That's why we discuss about the pronunciation of this Gna. Vignana. Next we have word Maitri. You can check Maitri. So my first letter. Can you check Ma plus which vowel is there student? Which which vowel is there in my I? I vowel is there. My three. Three. Now this one is mixed letter. Again three. Three is made of three uh, total uh, two consonants. Ta plus Ra and one vowel long E. Three. My three. Okay. My three. Okay. More difficult words. Pay attention. What is this? We will read it. Yeah. Vidyarthi. Okay. It's easy uh, for some students. Vidyarthi. Now students check. Va plus E is equal to V. Right. First letter. Second letter you can check here. Dya. Dya. This is mixed letter. Joint letters. Here you can check how Dya is Formed. See, I underline only, uh, you know, by uh, one one letter. Here I underline wo and e together. Then this plus I left. Then another letter. These three letters I, these three, uh, you know, sound the yo and a I underline. So it's a one letter dia. Then again I will leave it. And then ra. Then again tho and e I will underline together. So it's t. So I underline the word like this. So I will send you this, the PDF file of this, you know, copy I will send you right after the class. So you will do the practice. Okay. So as I said, Vidyarthi, Va plus or V and now mixed letter Dya. Da plus Yo plus Adya. Vidya and then again this Re for this sound comes here, Ra. So Ra is there on Thi. T H I T that is on this T. Now this should be pronounced just before this T letter. That's why I put it here. See, R before what I put I put before Tha plus E T. So this should be pronounced as V D R T V D R T. Okay. Next we have Nishchala. You can see Nishchala. So the first letter is Ni. Na plus E, Ni, fine, short E, Ni, okay. Then you can check Sha consonant, Sha, then Cha. So this is mixed letter, in fact, uh, uh, you know, sometimes it's written like this, Cha. Students pay attention, Sha and Cha can be written like this. And sometimes it can be written uh, in a little different way. Last time also uh, I told you, let me uh, try to... Uh, right on the this digital whiteboard like uh, just a second see straw can be written like this last time I told Okay, it can be written like this, and somewhere you will see a very simple this sha and cha. So sha can be, uh, you will see sha sometime like this and sometime like this. Okay, so please keep in mind this thing. Here you can check scha, nishchala, na plus e, ni. Then scha, this is scha, like this. 
and la very simple la consonant and o vowel o sound la then again another mixed letter sra like we uh, re, we speak no sri right sri so how to write this sra check just like sha i show you like this okay then one line from here and then straight line and then you can write sra like this now if you want to put sra right with a then make one line here if you want to like if you want to write sri then put like this sri that's why sri ganesha namaha like this we write okay sra so sra is the combination of sha uh, palatal sha and ra and or uh, this is called sra sri next word is uh, next letter is me ma plus e me and then next letter is ka so me ka okay last this one is prahelika four letter word students first letter you can check pra now here you could see in marma that ra was being pronounced before the letter where this refa is there on whichever the letter this refa is there that ra this refa should be pronounced just before this letter okay but now we will see a kind of a, a letter kind of a, a word where you can check ha ah, see can you see this pra now let me increase the size of this letter see pa very simple pa okay we know this letter pa p but when you make this cross line one cross line it will be like this see see the difference between pa and pra pra means for half plus ra half and a pra now suppose if you would like uh, to write one letter ka that is like this ka fine very simple ka letter okay but if you want to write ka half right uh, half means only pure consonant plus ra ra full letter ra so how to write ka half plus ra just simple just put ka just write one this ka and make the cross like this uh, sometimes it's used like this kra this is kra where ka is half and ra full ra consonant is there kra similarly for chra just write cha okay cha letter and put this cross line this is very important cross line is very important now suppose if you would like to write uh, mra then this ma simple ma and then put this cross line let me write it with the red pen red uh, pen see this is called mra so consonant ma and ra consonant cha and ra consonant ka and ra like this kra mra chra in the previous file also i gave you this example so pra pra a pra he he ha plus a he li la plus e li and ka plus a ka okay students here we saw that uh, how words are for with consonants and vowels with joint letters now i will give you i will uh, show you some words that i will tell you to read okay i will speak i will ask you to speak and then we all will pronounce okay get ready okay okay uh first is who will speak this yeah speak loudly gnanam 
very good gnanam absolutely gnanam all of you pronounce gnanam okay very good next we have okay uh let i will have to check my, my old students i don't know uh, who are there ruchika can you pronounce this uh, this this word second word yeah please yeah pragya you speak you spoke pragya it's okay it can be pronounced as pragya or pragna all right thank you thank you ruchika thank you next we have this letter this word i will ask you wait let me let me see you see my students uh, even uh, i can't see them but i can listen to them uh srijamya can you read this word for me uh, just a second yeah this word what is this dear akshara it is akshara okay correct fine now we are having the number 4 this one let me ask one of them wait uh sravan please uh, pronounce this word slowly slowly take your time ah uh, no no problem dear see this one is uh, the uh, this is the mixture of this this see ka Yeah, ka, sha, and a. Here it is sha, but here it is not sha. Here it is a. See, a. So, what should be the pronunciation? Correct, absolutely, absolutely fine. Sravan, very good. Next, uh, let me ask uh, some other student. Uh, Chichen, Chichen, please read this for me. You are right. You are right. Shame. Perfect. Shame. Correct. Next, we have this word. Right. Only one letter word. Uh, let me ask Robert. Robert, please, uh, please uh, read this word for me, dear. Highlighted word. Sorry. Uh, no. It is. Uh, actually two letters are there mixed letter b w i yeah dwi dwi it's dwi like see like this let me show you here this is mixed letter right so here i will show you the word yeah yeah, yeah. No, no problem, no problem. Wait, wait, wait. For all, I would like to show this. Just we are, yeah. See number seven. Can you show? Can you see this? Do plus wa, do wa, do wa. So this one is dwi. Okay, this one is dwi. Fine. Next we have again similar type of. Let me ask other student. Anastasia, can you read it, please? Absolutely, dwa ve wa. Where first letter is mixed letter, this is dwa ve wa. Absolutely, Anastasia, thank you. Uh, next, we have this letter, right? If you don't know how to pronounce, try to understand what I am showing you here. Can you check this letter? This is the, right? Number seven. This is d, and this is v. So d and v, you can check in English also. Dwa. So this one is called dwa. Follow me, Didi. Please speak. Dwa. Speak. I want to listen to you. Dwa. Speak. Ah, dwa. Yeah, dwa. Right. D V. Which letter is there? D. Then we can write V. W A U Dwau Dwau Okay Dwau Okay Pass Can you read it for me First letter Issue 
and next is I am I am here. Yeah, speak again. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I am having the solution for you. Wait. Now, can you can you can you speak now? Correct. Now this is mixed letter. The yeah correct. Here here number eight. Yeah, so dumb. You can't speak more. So dumb. No no. Wait. You are right. Just one correction. Ma is half. So you will speak like Suddham. How? Suddham. Suddham. Very good. Suddham. Correct. See here. You can see number 8. The and the. This, uh, this is the slide that I sent you. This is the file that I sent all of you people. Please do the uh, you know revision of this. The and the. The. D. D. H. The. The is there and the is there. So this is the example of this Suddham. Okay, Paz, thank you. You spoke well. Next, uh, we have this word. Next, we have this word. It is, what is this word? Uh, it's no, it's Puddhi, but the last sound you need to correct yourself. This, this is, okay, let me delete it. You are right. What is this? Speak again. Buddhi. Correct. Buddhi. Don't speak more, right? Buddhi. Absolutely fine. Nice. Thank you, Radhika. Uh, Alessia, it will be your turn now. This one. Alessia. Uh, no problem. See, uh, this is the one vowel, right? This is one vowel. Can you identify this vowel here? This vowel? Yeah, absolutely. So, it's U, right? It's U. Correct. And then, can you identify this uh, two consonants in uh, Sanskrit? Which two consonants are there? I know you just started studying this language in last last two three weeks only, first time. But don't worry, I am there. I will help you. So U is pronunciation is is the sound, but what should be the pronunciation? U what? U and then this one next two. This is half K, half K. So U. Let me write in English here for you. U. Then next consonant is ka, k. Can you tell me the last consonant? Which consonant is there? No, you are just near to this. No is not there. You are just close. It is t. Like this. Can you speak now? Wow. <laughs> Very good. I really like. So, Ukta is there. Okay. Olesya, you are trying your best. You are you are trying your best here. Uh, I have been teaching this language from last 7-8 years. And initially students are facing this problem in terms of reading. But that's why I just gave you the advice in the initial time in this class. That you start continue reading. And have practice more and more practice, more and more practice. Then you will be better and better. Right? Initially, it is very important because slowly, slowly the classes will be increased, grammar topics will be increased. If you're not, I'm not talking, taking, talking to only Alessia. I'm talking to all of you. If your previous uh, things will not be clear, if you will not be having that command over the previous uh, the grammar topics, then the next grammar topic will be tough for you. Right? So please keep yourself updated and learn it and revise it okay okay uh, students uh, from here you more words are given like these all words are there but this will be in your homework these words see these then these then these these, these. all these words are going to be in your homework now what would be the homework that also I will tell you here 
once i will finish the class i will write the pronunciation of this all words like gnanam is there then i will write in english like this gna na nam now for this pragna so i will write like this pra gna like this but other you people will write like few i have already written here so this you people will do this i am sending you after this class once uh, we have just finished the class we are uh, signing off so this is going to be your work for this upcoming week coming week will study more on this words i will teach you in sanskrit language how word is ended noun is ended with different vowels right how we have to learn this okay so you do the practice of this words formation whatever i taught you today in this whole week students you need to work you need to work harder if you will not do and you will be just depending on the classes then you will learn the rules but you will not practice so please keep practicing reading the things just 30 minutes in a day keep reading you will be connected with this language and uh, the things will be easier right so thank you so much for being my all dear students we will be meeting again on saturday i will send you today's file pdf file and whatever homework i gave you accordingly you prepare right you write the uh, english pronunciation context just beside that sanskrit word all right thank you so much for being sign off thank you